Greetings everyone, Red Honey here, back with another Jurassic World figure review. <laughs> Coming off reviewing the Pteranodon vs. Helicopter playset, I'm going to be reviewing the Growler figure. But before we get onto the Growler, I just want to bring up something I forgot about the helicopter. This helicopter has dino damage on it from the Pteranodon vs. Helicopter playset. You press the top of the blades in right here, you press this down, and it breaks the helicopter in half. And what you're supposed to do is, I guess, when you press that down, you press it down and you kind of shake it, and when you shake it, the cockpit piece flips open too, and the guy gets flung out like, like so. So the helicopter gets destroyed. I forgot to bring that up in the other review, so uh, one of the users, uh, pardon me, I forget your name, you posted and you said that, and I, I don't know why I forgot about it, but I did, and I apologize, everyone, so... There's dino damage on this chopper, and it's pretty cool, just like the gyrosphere, and it just snaps back in, and it's good to go for when you press it again. So yes, that's the dino damage on the helicopter. The figure that's getting the spotlight today is the Jurassic World Hasbro Dimorphodon figure. Screeching attack, and light up dino damage. All the Jurassic World growlers seem to have the light up dino damage feature. You got the T-Rex in the corner. Jurassic World. Just saying that it comes with batteries. Some of the Jurassic World stuff doesn't come with batteries, but this one does. Really nice looking Dimorphodon figure. Dimorphodon fantasy scene chomping jaws. There's some artwork of the figure on the back showing its light up Dino damage wound and oh they really did they put it on can you guys oh a ferocious fight for survival they couldn't really really I thought that was only for the basher figures I guess that's here on the the watch my face at the growler electronic growler figures too but either way flapping wings and the official Jurassic World seal Universal Hasbro so if you guys give me a sec, I'll unpackage him and we can take a closer look at this figure. So out of the package, he comes with this little instruction manual. Nothing really too fancy here. It's just Jurassic World. A picture of the figure and showing... I don't know why that's red and that's red, but uh, weird. Because the eyes don't light up. Don't really think there's anything noteworthy in here. Just telling you how to replace the batteries. Lots of text and different languages. Place the batteries and just showing his action feature. You press the dino damage down and you squeeze his legs, and that's that's all this is. Just instruction sheet, uh, I guess. So here's Dimorphodon out of the box. Uh, not really any poseable legs, so this guy can't really stand. He kind of just has to sit flat. Uh, Would have been nice if you could have moved his legs somehow and posed him so he could have been sitting on a tree or something. The figure has a little bit of weight to it for a, a growler figure. Nothing extreme but a little bit. Pretty nice colors on here. I like it. Jurassic World. It's the logo. It's kind of like army colors. It's like gr camo colored. It's like green, black, and this light cream whitish color on the wings on both sides. And then Actually, for a Hasbro figure, I don't know why, this head sculpt on this is uh, kind of cool for a Dimorphodon figure, Pterosaur figure. Got a really tiny screw hole there. And all this figure screw holes are on the bottom side. There is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screw holes. The wings aren't on this ball joint thing, so they can only go up and down. They can't go left and right like some of the Jurassic Park 3 Pteranodons you guys may know. But here's his uh, electronic dino damage wound now that lights up. Releasing kind of a cool sound. Uh, somewhat better, I guess, improved from the Dress Part 3 heinous dino damage. But I, I don't know, I still don't really care all too much for this dino damage. Just because it's like the same curse of the dino damage except now the dino damage lights up so it's in case you didn't see it before plaguing the figures now it lights up so you can see it just to be sure whatever though it's not terrible and uh, it's just me nitpicking but his action feature is down here on his tail oh his tail looks kind of cool too no poseable things in the tail so it's kind of just there but 
the action feature, you take both of his legs and you squeeze them, almost like the other pteranodon from the helicopter playset, and his wings flap. <laughs> so uh, it's a really nice feature. Uh, this is kind of a cool figure. I just wish it had some more posability so it could stand instead of just laying flat, but uh, maybe you could always hang it up somehow by tying stuff around its neck and tail and have it just dangling somewhere from your room or something. Uh, I don't know. Me being weird, but if I rated this guy, I enjoyed this Dimorphodon a hell of a lot more than the Pteranodon from the helicopter set, and I, I don't know why. Uh, perhaps you feel the same, or perhaps you don't feel the same. Maybe it's just the head sculpt on this Dimorphodon. It's kind of a, it's a pretty nice head sculpt for Hasbro. Uh, Kudos to Hasbro for this figure. While I'm not overly a fan of the dino damage lighting up, uh, it's not a bad figure, and I'd rate it a 3. Like all the electronic growlers, he, he currently retails for $15. And he was bracing how to size up with the Jurassic World human. I don't really think that's going to help or anything, but yeah. A pretty sizable Dimorphodon figure here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's it, the Jurassic World pilot. So, both of these figures are relatively almost the same size. Uh, just one's electronic and the other has the sliding door dino damage is the only real difference. I'd say the Diamorphodon is slightly bigger, but, but not by much. Overall, I would still say I prefer the Pteranodons from the Jurassic Park 3 line. So far from this Jurassic World toy line, I prefer the Jurassic Park 3 ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review here for the Jurassic World Dimorphodon. Do you guys have this figure, or are you looking to get it? And what do you think about it? Post in the comments down below, thumbs up the video, subscribe and share my content. There'll be plenty more stuff on the way, and stay Stay tuned, because I'll be reviewing Electronic Growler Blue here next on the channel. So stick around for that if you guys want to see this figure review next. That will be up within the next 24 hours. So keep checking back here, and thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And Red Hanya signing out for now. Take care, everyone.